Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this game day six here of the Clark Bubble of the FIBA Asia Cup Qualifiers Group E fixture between Chinese Taipei and China. Well, if you recently just saw the game earlier, Korea defeated Indonesia, picking up their first victory here in the Clark Bubble after losing their opening game against Gilas Filipinas. But in this group, of course, China played yesterday. They emphatically defeated Japan. Now they'll be looking to go 2-0 here against Chinese Taipei. But Chinese Taipei with this very, very young team will have something to say about that. Again, we'll just get set to introduce the players for tonight's game. Well, as you can see already in this group, Chinese Taipei have split two games. They beat in Malaysia, which was a this record victory, 20, over 100 points, but then lost to Japan. While China playing their first game of the qualifiers yesterday, in which they won. But today will be a very interesting matchup. Chinese Taipei versus China. And now let's meet the players first for China. Number one, Wu well, in the game against Japan, Wu Qian was playing two, in the backcourt, playing Xi. very much composed Number basketball, three, trying to who, push Xuan. the transition as much as possible. Ming Xuan, of course, four, Chao Chao another Chile. young player. Number eight, well, Zhao showed some promise. Lin and how he went Number about his 10, game Joe against Kong. Japan. Very physical on defense, Number but 12, Ren you can see Ren Junfei there, the veteran Number big 13, player. Juan Xing, of course, 14, very, Shen very, very Shen. promising player. Standing Number seven 16, foot five. Number Number 21, Wang Xiaojing. And well, Joe Peng was their best Xiao player. He played head very, very well, China shot the ball extremely well from the perimeter, but that is the Chinese national team, their head coach, Du Feng, a legend in CBA and Chinese international basketball Taipei. for China. And now we'll get set Number to introduce one, this Bashir very young Gadiaga. team here of Chinese Taipei. Well, Gadiaga there, this will be his debut for the Number national team. Four, Li Han and Shen. Chinese university basketball Number five, in Chinese Hu Taipei. Awecha. Number eight, Jonah Morrison. Well, Jonah Morrison, born in. Chinese Number Taipei 10, again has Shen, a very big Yashuan. role to play for this team. He stands at six foot eight, 12, so he's going to have a big Lin job to play Chen tonight. Number thirteen, Chen one Yun of their Ray. biggest players, but he's going to have to go up against seven Number foot, 16, seven foot five. Lan it's going to be a Shao tough, tough Hu. matchup. Number seventeen, Su Shishuan. and number sixty-nine, Liu Chunxiang. Head coach for Chinese we'll get set Taipei now to stand for the Shirley national Parker. anthems of these two wonderful and beautiful nations. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of China. And now the Olympic song of Chinese Taipei. The national anthems have been sung, and now we'll get set to introduce our officials for tonight's game. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're very proud to say we have some of the finest officials our here. Our officials are coming from Indonesia and Gilas Filipinas. 
From Gilas, we have Rico Buaron, Budi Marfan, and Haja Jaladri from Indonesia. Again, we thank the hard work and loyalty of our officials. They've done an excellent job in all of our competitions, and they'll continue to do so here tonight at the Clark Bubble FIBA Asia Cup 2021 qualifiers for Indonesia. Now get set for tip. I mean, this is going to be a David versus Goliath matchup. But let's go back to 2013 when these two teams met in the quarterfinals. It was Chinese Taipei who upset China in a 96 to 78 victory, which many all over the continent of FIBA Asia and, of course, across the world were very surprised. Of course, China taking care of business and winning the 2015 FIBA Asia Cup. Coming up short in 2017, they'll start tonight with Qian Wu in the backcourt along with Ming Xuan Hu. Well, Zi Wei Zhao will also play in the backcourt. Well, Peng Zhou, who was their best player in the last game, along with Shen Zijie. Shen Zijie now one of the more physical dominating players. And it looks like Jonah Morrison is going to have to match up with him. Coach Du Feng knows that he's got a big lineup and knows that he's got pride to protect for this Chinese national team. They're usually a powerhouse in FIBA Asia, and they want to go 2-0 to here tonight. Well, a man who's featured in so many FIBA Asian Cups, not to mention World Cups, Olympics, you name it. Du Feng, there's not a place he can go in China without people knowing who he is. He's just that well respected and that well regarded. Not only Chinese basketball fans, but fans all over the world. They know who he is and what he's achieved. All the Chinese Taipei, they're going to have to make sure that they play very disciplined. And up tempo basketball, they're going to compete. Course, but there's Jonah Morrison. He's their best player and probably their biggest player as well, standing at six foot eight. They have to make sure that he gets some good looks from the perimeter tonight. Oh, Gadiaga, they need him to play a very strong tempo up and down the court, but we'll see how they fare. And this is a very, very young team, so this is almost a future Chinese Taipei basketball team, if you like. Well, Gadiaga will start as a small forward tonight. Wu Xiaojian along with Wu Xiaochen will play in the backcourt. Now Su Xie Xuan will also play the center role. So Jonah Morrison will come off the bench. Or Lu Chunxiang will also play. It's a very small lineup. But again, speed and youth is what they have. What can Chinese Taipei put on the court tonight? There's their head coach, Charles Parker. Of course, he's been with Chinese Taipei now for a few years. And again, implementing his philosophy and what he can bring to the nation. As well as try to, you know, really progress. I mean, they had a golden age in 2013, which a team that just missed out on a place at the FIBA World Cup in 2014. But since then, they've been trying to bounce back and, you know, rebuild years. And this is the kind of team you want to build around, a young, youthful team. But the test is going to be a gigantic one tonight as they have to go up against China. Gentlemen, we are moments away from tip. Whether you're watching in Taipei, Beijing, Shanghai, wherever you may be, welcome now to the FIBA Asia Cup 2021 qualifiers. One minute away from tip. As we mentioned, Chinese Taipei, it's a very young team. It's a great experience for them to go up against a more experienced team. What they can learn off from this matchup. I'm sure there's players on both teams that really just want to get this under underway and get business to pick up. Well, Du Feng yesterday looked very furious at times for some of his players, even though they were leading by 20 points. But Japan did cut the deficit down to seven points in the fourth quarter. So we'll be hoping that his players start very well and finish this game off. But I'm sure he is not underestimating Chinese Taipei by any means.
Well, the matchups are going to be very interesting here, of course, because I imagine what you're going to see from Chinese Taipei is a lot of double teams in the low block to take care of the mismatches. But then what they're going to have to do is scramble and come up and have some close out on a lot of shooters. So expect to see China get a lot of open looks on the perimeter tonight. I imagine what Du Feng's probably told his players. Let's force the ball in the low block, get it into the post. When the double teams come, kick it out. And let's get some wide open shots, but then by all means, China are going to want to make the most of the size as Shun jumps it. So China get the first possession now. Looking to give a pass now. Heavy defense. Takes this one in the lane now. In the corner, there's the post entry. Here comes the double team. And already a foul's been committed. And there you can see. It went down low to Joe Peng, and already Chinese Taipei wasted no time there with the double team. Kicks this one out now. Takes him with a left-handed drive now. Kicks out, turns it over. Well, Gadiaga comes up with it. Loose ball time now. It's a two-on-one situation. Oh, baby, goes in. Reverse slam, but he missed it. Well, they come up with an offensive rebound. Good ball movement now here from the young team as Gadiaga with the ball in his hands. Pulls up for a quick, quick three. Way off the mark. And now China will push this one. Down low now. Here's a mismatch. Gadiaga guarding in the low block. Goes down the middle. Fades away with it. Boy, didn't need to fade away. And now Chinese Taipei with a chance to push this one. I think the Chinese Taipei are going to have to do They're going to have to work very hard for every single offense, but they can't turn it over because now China have a fast break opportunity. And there's the perimeter shot. The shot is up. The shot is good. Well, Zhao Ziwei played very well last, day, last night against Japan and already gets off the mark from the perimeter. Well, Wu Chun now on the ball has to give this one up to Gadiaga. Another turnover keeps it alive. Now goes in the lane, passes it off. A foul has been called, and he will go to the free throw line now for two shots. Now, one thing Chinese Taipei have to identify is China are going to be very physical on defense. Now, look at this for a fast break play. Left uncontested. They can't be left wide open because China will knock those shots down. We're well, going back to what I was saying. There you can see Wu Chia, Wu Chia Chun, sorry, at the free throw line makes the first one. Chinese Taipei have to anticipate that China are going to be very physical in man-to-man -man defense. So they have to not stand with the ball and try and make some penetrations and draw some fouls. It's a good chance for them to get into the penalty early in every quarter, try and get to the free throw line. And having said that, this is a David versus Goliath matchup, and they're going to have to work hard for every single offense. He makes both free throws. Top of the key now. There's the down low block pass under the basket. Simply unstoppable. Well, Shen Zijie is going to have a buffet down low tonight. The pass coming from Joe Peng. Gadiaga now gives this ball up. Well, they take the three. The three is in the corner. The three is no good. And now China can push this one. Waste no time getting the ball up the court. Well, the block is coming under the basket. Bit of contact. Gets his own rebound. Still can't get it. And Chinese Taipei secure the rebound. And a foul has been committed. And the foul is on Zhao Ziwei. China cannot afford to be complacent here early on. They don't want to make this a tough matchup. Beautiful pass down low. There you can see Shun Zijie makes the... Well, it's a tough layup because he had to cement the positioning. Back to Gadiaga now. Here's where the movement by Chinese Taipei needs to be a little bit better. Takes it in the lane, little jump shot, gets it to drop. A simple penetration, but now China wastes no time in getting the ball up the floor. Great defense there by Mohamed Gadiaga there, forcing him into a tough pass, and it will be baseline ball now to China. And already. Coach Dufay going to the bench. This is not a bad penetration there. In the lane. Pulls up for a quick jump shot. Gets that one to drop. And 
There's a penetration in the lane. Gets stripped. And now Chinese Taipei can push this one. And the wrong pass. He had wide open to him. Here's the fast break play. Beautiful play here from China, but they got to finish this one. And now they're going to bring this one out. And there's the low post, low post block play. The post move now fades away in the lane. Oh, it's beautiful. Tough play there by Joe Peng. And Joe Peng went to work against Japan. And an easy left in the lane. Oh, he missed it. And now China. With Zhao Tiwei can push this one. Kick out. There's a three-pointer. Doesn't get it. And there's the offensive rebound. And Shun with the throwdown time. He just cleans up. Well, Shun says, yay. That's one thing that China's going to rely on tonight, coming up with those offensive rebounds and just the putbacks. There's a the penetration down the lane. Bumps and it gets rejected. Well, Shun said, no in me, Kassa. Not in my house. Oh, Shun. Look at this for a block shot. Well, here's a cleanup. Just rips a ring down on that one. And there's the pump fake now in the lane. Goes up. Should have taken the shot. They didn't take it right now. With the inexperience of these young Chinese Taipei players. Two opportunities. They missed that. Well, the positive note for his play is that they're getting the penetrations and they're getting into spaces, which is causing China some issues. But again, the learning experience, they need to be much better here by taking the right shot. Under the basket, wide open. Ah, oh, it's too easy. And Joe Peng. Just like he did against Japan, is camping out on the low block, and he's just having a buffet, a field day down low. And there's a three-point. The three is up. The three is off the mark. And now China can push this one with Zhao Ziwei. The fast break basketball in the lane goes up the layup, and he gets the M1. And he's going to go to the free throw line now to make a three-point play. Well, Wu Qian there, you can see. I mean, look at this. That's a little bit of showtime. China basketball. Lancho, oh, you gotta love it. <laughs> and now, go to the free throw line here. Wu Tian. Again, it played very well against Japan yesterday. Makes a three-point play, and now it's a 10-point lead here to China. All right, turn it over. On well, the full-court pressure. I thought about taking the three-point. It makes a penetration all the way to the basket. And right now, it's all China. Chinese Taipei have to do something about this. There's the cross-court pass. There's the three-pointer. Three is up, and the three is good. That's much better. A little bit of run and gun basketball here from Chinese Taipei. And all right, turn it over. And now they got another chance here. They got numbers. Ah, oh, turns it over one more time. Now, what do we have here in transition? Lays it up. And just when Chinese Taipei were about to build some momentum, Joe Peng there. Got lucky with a loose ball in China. We're still the lead now. This is now an 11 point lead. And there's a turnover. And Joe Peng, simple layup there. What's this Chinese Taipei to call a timeout? I'm not sure if he pulled a muscle there, but he looks like he's in a little bit of pain, but hopefully nothing too serious. Well, you got to credit a little bit the way Chinese Taipei play. I mean, they play with no fear and they're very quick, but again, they just need to take care of the basketball. Silly turnovers will cost them, and now they're going to make a few changes. Lin Jen Hung comes into the game along with. Lee Hansheng as well. And Jonah Morrison is also to the end. Now it looks like Joe Pang is in a little bit of pain. Hopefully he's okay because 
I mean, he was the MVP in yesterday's game against Japan. He was unbelievable. Now we're under 10, the shot clock, and it's another turnover as Lee Han Shung just throws the ball away. Again, Chinese Taipei, not enough movement off the ball. Very static, and it's just too easy right now for China on defense. Here comes the handoff now. Pass is top of the key. And they're looking to seal the ball up, and now they've got Jonah Morrison in for Chinese Taipei, which hopefully that's much better. Well, Jonah Morrison made a big choice there to come out and Help out straight away, which left his man wide open as Run Jun Fei is into the game for China. In the end, China turned it over. No foul call, turnover. The foul has been called on the ground. Now, I think there was a foul. While Chinese Taipei were trying to inbound the ball, there was a lock of arms there, but China will get the ball sideline, I believe. The foul was on the ground. Well, he's trying to insinuate he was shooting, but. Question is, was he shooting there? I have a case there, to be honest. He was in the process of his one-two step, but under the basket. Great defense by Jonah Morrison. Well, Run Jeff Faye doesn't give up, and that's why he's simply one of the best. Run Jeff Faye there just. Again, uses veteran years of strength, physicality, just to keep going. And right now, Chinese Taipei just need a little bit more movement. There's a penetration. Well, spins around. Can he get it? Too much strength on that one. And now China can push this one. Here's a pass in the lane. Goes up with it. Missile layup. Jonah Morrison with a rebound. And now gets away with a few steps there. Morrison takes a three-pointer, almost got it. The foul has been called. There's Run Jin Fei there. Just too big and strong. The veteran going up against the rookie. Now, Run Jin Fei got it by Jonah Morrison. Passes this one up. Comes off the screen now. Kicks out. Good ball movement. And they get the open look for three from downtown. No good. Don't secure the rebound. It's another offensive rebound for China. That's now the 15th foul for Chinese Taipei. So China will go to the free throw line now here for two shots. Makes the first free throw now. Can't get the second one. Goes out of bounds, and it will be China ball. Right now, Chinese Taipei struggling to secure any rebounds at the moment. And they make another change now. Chinese Taipei. So Li Hanchung now leaves the game. Under the basket. Too easy. It's a 16-point ball game. Morrison now gets a handoff. There's a three point. The three is up. Three is no good. Nobody going for an offensive rebound. And now China can push this one. A beautiful pass. Oh, it's beautiful. They finish that fast break. I don't think the ball touched the floor. And that is experienced veteran basketball there from China. You have to appreciate the way. I mean, look at this. That ball doesn't touch the floor. 
I mean, that is showtime Chinese basketball. Well, there's a one dribble, but that is unbelievable. That is BEA, beautiful basketball. China looking for a handoff here. Comes to pick and roll. Another foul's been called. Yet again, it'll be another two free throws here for China. He's a very, very experienced basketball player in only three years, of course, playing for the Guangdong Southern Tigers. He started his career back in 2018 where he played 32 games and only averaged four points per game, but his previous season gone, he averaged 7.6 points per game for Guangdong, and he was averaging more minutes than usual at 21 minutes per game in the CBA. So a highly regarded young point guard with a lot of pace and a lot of speed. Out of his game, he just needs to prove it's probably his perimeter shooting, but other than that, it, Good prospect for Chinese basketball. There's the crossover. Kicks this one out. Well, they try another three point. Three is up. The three is no good. Same story now for Chinese Taipei. Now China can push this one. Turns it over. Now this is where they got to be quick. Another sloppy turnover. Chinese Taipei come up with a loose ball. Another three point. Three is up. Still can't get it. Oh, what a pass now. It was in. A little Euro step, but he finishes that one. Oh, it starts with a great pass from Run Jim Fayez. Finishes that layup off very well. Now it's a two point lead here to China. Puts it behind his back now, looks for a kick out. Splits the defenders, goes in with a tough layup, and he finishes that one. And Chinese Taipei desperately needed that. That was a tough, tough move going to the basket. As Ku there gets his first two points of the game. There's a love pass under the basket, and it's way too easy right now. As Chinese Taipei aren't committing any double teams whatsoever. And it's allowing China to have all the freedom, of course, under the basket to isolate. Another turnover, and now we got a four on one. But well, what do we have here? Showtime lays it up. Beautiful basketball here from China. They are just playing end to end stuff. Keeps the ball top of the key now, kicks this one out. They try another three point. Three is up, and finally, Chinese Taipei gets one to go from the corner. Now we're under a minute to go here in the first quarter. China with a 21 point lead over Chinese Taipei. All right, turn it over. Lazy pass, and now Chinese Taipei have numbers. Gonna go all the way, lays it up. Finishes that one off the glass. Much more aggressive play. They have to get back on defense because China behind the back pass. Oh, baby! Vintage Chinese Showtime basketball. You gotta love it. There's a the backdoor play. Beautiful pass and a single. Simple finger roll, sorry. Off the backboard. And now China will have the last shot here of the first quarter. Pulls up for the mid-range jump shot. Nothing but net. And that is simply unstoppable as China in total control of this game over Chinese Taipei here in the FIBA Asia Cup 2021 qualifiers. Oh, Xu Jie, of course. We talked about his stats in the CBA play for the Guangdong Southern Tigers and what a season he's had, averaging just over seven points per game. But right now, he's doing it on a national level for the Chinese national team for the Mighty Zhongguo. China right now only one for three from downtown, but they are 15 for 21 from the perimeter. Chinese Taipei shooting 25% with two three-point field goals. But now rebounding Chinese Taipei, of course. Coach Du Feng. With a lot to think about for his team. 
Again, there's the ball movement. Jao makes the three-pointer from downtown. Jao Ziwei has been phenomenal in this game, of course. Well, there's the fadeaway in the low block, and that was a beautiful shot by Joe Payne. Now, Joe Payne did lead the game because he was injured, but Shun with the throwdown flush cleans it up. Yeah, it's just been too easy right now for China. You can see Run Jim Fei there, just too big and strong. So now, Chinese Taipei will get the first possession here of the second quarter. And again, the full court pressure. Very aggressive here from China. So pick up a foul here. The foul is on Zhao Jiwei. Zhao Jiwei is a very intense full court defender. You can see he put a lot of pressure on Yuki Togashi last night in the Japan game. He waste no time in getting an inbounds. Take a quick shot on the base. On the shot is good. That's exactly what Chinese Taipei need. So that is Su Shishuan. Reaching foul by Wu Chia Chun. Back down low block now. That's a tough move, and finally they get a rebound. As Gadiaga looks like he's going to push this one. Gadiaga splits the defense in the lane, goes to the fanger. A tough move there by Mohamed Gadiaga. That's exactly what they needed a bit of inspiration, a simple penetration. Basket now is where China wants the ball. Simply unstoppable. That's number 21. Wang Xiaojie. Wang Xiaojie there cemented the position very aggressively and just got things going. He's made one pump fix now. Goes baseline. Dishes that one off in the lane. Wraps around. Kicks out. Good ball movement. Pull up for the mid range. Shots up. Still good. Oh my lord! Are you serious? Mohamed Gadiaga is putting on a show right now. That was unbelievable. Oh, Mohamed Gadiaga there, but right now China down the other end. There's Yam one, and he's gonna go to the free throw line to make a three point play. Oh, look at this. He's in the air there, makes a contact, so he'll go to the free throw line. Well, what that means, sir, sure. Gadiaga, Hengaoxing, Renshini, nice to meet you with the throwdown time. And now Gadiaga, trying to use the confidence from that play here. Looks like he's going to attack every play, draws a foul now. He'll go to the free throw line here for two shots. And it's amazing what a simple play like that does to a player's confidence. The foul is on Shen, and this is how Chinese Taipei needs to play in this game. Just need to keep attacking, get into the free throw line. 
Well, he makes the first one. Well, can't get the second one, but it's now an 18-point deficit. It's Chinese Taipei just trying to stay in this game. This one now, mid-range jump shot, tucks it away, and that's beautiful basketball. And there you can see Zhao Ziwei growing in confidence right now. Loving that mid-range jump shot. He now moves up to seven points. He's trying to restore the 20-point lead. Jonah Morrison checks back into the game. Finds Gadiaga now. Gadiaga had his jersey pulled there, but I love how he just keeps playing. Kicks out to Morrison now. Morrison, three in the corner. Got it! Again, any little play there just to build the confidence of these Chinese Taipei national team players. But they still have to do it defensively. Let's try to go down the other end. As Wu Qian will oh, the line now for two shots. Well, he makes the first one. And again, the thing that's working very well for China is that they are able to get into the paint so easily with the penetrations and dump downs. And right now, Chinese Taipei just haven't been quick enough to rotate. And again, that's part of their inexperience. And this is a great learning experience for them as well. Remember, these players, very young. They'll be the future of this national team. And he comes out to deal with full court pressure. They turn it over. There's the ball movement. Down low in the lane now. Goes up it too easy. And Shen Zetie makes a layup. And Chinese Taipei have to call timeout. They now trail by 21 points here to China. Look at this for a spin out. I mean, that's just simple practice move there. Well, the problem for Chinese Taipei is they have to learn how to break the press down and have to have a bit more composure. And again, it is a learning experience for them, but they must grow in this game. you can see right now, Lu, Zhao, and Zhou are the top scorers right now for China. And it's been fairly evenly distributed between these players because the Du Fengde, you can see how serious he is with his players. He demands excellence because that was the kind of player he was tough as nails. One of the best in Asia at his position. We'll throw the love pass now. Here comes a handoff now, looking to move in to get the ball back to Gadiaga. He tries a three point, the three is up, and the three is no good. Ball is loose on the floor, but now China can push this one again. There's a deep, deep three. The three is up. No good, but he gets his own rebound. Nobody boxed him out. Tries another one. Doesn't get it. Jonah Morrison secures a rebound. He's going to bring the ball to the court himself on this one. And now China's gone into a 2-3 zone, and that's a very interesting move because they've identified that Chinese Taipei have not shot the ball very well tonight, but there's the open three-point. The three is up, way off the mark. Offensive rebound under the basket. Well, hopefully he's okay. Well, Shen Zizhe did go flying on that block and did land awkwardly, but hopefully he hasn't injured himself too poorly on this one, but he is. It was the pump fake that got him up in the air, but it's how he landed awkwardly on the ground. and. We need to get the medical team out here just to check out 
how he's doing, of course. Well, there was the shot. Secured the rebound. There's the pump fake. Got him up in the air. That looks painful. He's landed on his right side. That is very painful. And hopefully he will be okay. Well, Shun Zichie has been phenomenal for China in these last two games, especially in the Japan game. He was unstoppable. Just works so hard. Does all the intangibles as well for his team. Runs the floor, sets the screens, runs all the offenses. But again, hopefully he is okay right now as he looks like he's in a bit of pain. Gonna get him on a stretch now, which okay, maybe just to evaluate what's happened to him, of course. But again, he is moving, of course, which is a positive sign. But Coach Dufan does look on a little bit concerned. But you know, he started his career in Shenzhen for the Aviators in the CBA. Such a fantastic player, of course. If you think this past season. He averaged 16.9 points per game in for the Shenzhen Aviators. 65%. And he is walking, but yeah, it does look like he is in a bit of pain there, of course. And well, our thoughts and our hopes and go towards Shenzhen Jian. Hopefully he'll be okay. Never nice to see a player go to the ground like that and take a take a knock, of course. Especially a player who really does embody the spirit of how basketball's played in China, which is now we'll two free throws here for Chinese Taipei. Well, he missed the first one. Makes the second one now. Cuts it down to a 20-point ball game with just under six and a half to go here in the second quarter. Comes up a screen now, looking for options. Does a pick and pop now. In the lane goes up with a simple jump hook and he tucks that one away. Again, it's just so simple right now. And that is a beautiful play there by Wang Xiaojie. And then like gets rejected. Well, Wang Xiaojie said. Not in my house. Spit out move. Doesn't get it. Well, Chinese Taipei come up with a rebound. And now here's a bit of fast break basketball. Good ball movement to get a wide open look. Don't take it. Beautiful no look pass. They turn it over. Chinese Taipei, you can see there's a bit of prominence and potential in their play. Well, Wang Xiao Jay said, Jisha Wada Fangza, not in my house. This is my house, he said. Trying to get the three-pointer top of the key. They don't get it. I turn it over again. Again, they turn. Tasha played under the basket. Reverse layup. And again, Wu Qian taking this game over. Now he moves up to seven points. It's now a 24-point lead to China. China now staying at 2-3 zone. There's a backdoor play that's too easy. Turns it over. And now, what do we have here in transition? A bounce pass, the layup. I miss it, but he follows up with it. Zhao Ji Wei there does so well, and he now moves up to nine points. Well, Chinese Taipei have to be quick now, moving the ball against the zone, but again, they turn it over. All well, the spacing of Chinese Taipei against the 2 3 zone is causing all sorts of problems with their passes now. China is going with a lot of changes right now. He's coming into the game for China. Well, the big fella has checked in. Number 13, Liu Chuanxing. Stands at seven foot five. This is a great opportunity for him. Comes off one screen now. Look for the big fella under the basket. Oh, it's too easy. Well, he flashed to the basket. It was a beautifully executed play in the assist there coming from Xu Jie. Uh, 
Now Chinese Taipei trying to battle against his own hit. Kicks this one out. That's better now. Good penetration. Kicks this one out. Takes a three-pointer. Got it! Big time shot. Takes in the lane now, doesn't get it. And now Chinese Taipei can push this one, almost turn it over. And it will be China possession. So now will be sideline ball here to China. That's Zhang Junlin now. Inbound this one. Oh, Shu Jie now here. Crosses this one over. This baseline with it. Look for a kick out. Down the middle. Hangs in the air. Tough move there. Well, Hu Ming Xuan made a great aggressive penetration, but right now Chinese Taipei just need a little bit of inspiration in their defense and offense. China continues to stay in the 2 3 zone. There's the entry pass to the high post. That's where he's got to get rid of the ball a bit quicker. There's a deep, deep three-pointer. And can he get it to drop? Can't get it. What's well, a good look, but now China will push this one. Spins out now under the basket. Quentin Dobson goes up with it. Strong move. And left wide open. Takes a three-pointer. Three is up. It's no good. And China again come up with a rebound, and now they can push this one. As Xu Jie now looking to throw this one down low. But they pop down to the big fella under the basket. Goes up, misses it, gets his own rebound. Again, third rebound. Well, third time lucky. Well, Liu Chuanqing there. I mean, he's working so hard. He's running up and down the court. He's trying to keep up with the tempo. And in the end, he's able to put the two points away. Now, 13 second chance points here to China. There's the high post up there. It's the right idea, but they turn it over. Now China can push this one yet again. Under the back. Beautiful pass. Oh, we got a throw down. Oh, Zhang Zhenlin there. The pass, the assist coming from Xu Jie. Comes off one screen now, kicks in the corner. There's the ball moving now, top of the key. It takes a long, long two foot on the line. Well, right now, Chinese Taipei just needs somebody to go in for a second chance, try and go for a rebound or something on offense because it's the same story right now. Repossession. Chu Jie goes in with a finger roll. Follow up there. And it's too easy right now. That's Liu Chuanqing there. You can't fault the, the movement, of course, from Liu Chuanqing because he is going in for the offensive rebounds and doing exactly what Coach Du Feng wants him to do. This is where they got to pass the ball, get rid of it a bit quicker. There's a penetration. Got to shoot it. End of the shot clock. Doesn't get it. And now, China can push this one. Again, another offensive rebound goes up with its same result. And now China, with just over a minute to go here in the second. Have an emphatic 37-point lead over Chinese Taipei. Lu goes to 13 points. Lu Wenbo now. It's a great game for him to get some good looks from. That's a beautiful play there. Well, nice play there by Li Hanxiang. Well, curled the screen there, pulled up, and that's exactly what Chinese Taipei need to do. Just get open, get some good looks, and take those mid-range jump shots. And they go him with a reverse jam, but the foul is on the ground, so it will be... Baseline ball now to China with 34.8 seconds left here in the second quarter. And now they make a three-player change as Gadiaga comes back in along with Jonah Morrison. Well, look at this for a little throw down there. No look past some Shu Jie and the end result, two-handed jam. You got to love that.
think the officials are just trying to figure out the time right now on the clock, of course. We do have 34.8 seconds left in the game, so China probably won't get the last shot. What they can do is run the clock down. Hope they come up with a loose ball, but Chinese Taipei for them is beat. To try and get a stop right now, come up with a loose ball, and then they would have the chance to probably run the clock down for the last shot. Again, a good learning experience for this team. There's the change they need to make. 14 on the shot clock for China. They try the love pass there. Jonah Morrison, what a steal. And that's much better. The Chinese Taipei just need to move the ball a lot quicker now in the zone. But again, try and run this one down. Now the possession's in their favor. 10 on the shot clock now. Gadiaga on the ball, kicks this one out. Well, they try the three point. The three is up. It's no good. Now China, 10 seconds left here in the first half. They'll run this down now. Comes in the lane now, goes in, off the bat, but doesn't get it. Secure the rebound. And ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the first half, China had the lead over Chinese Taipei, 67 to 32. This FIBA Asia Cup qualifying matchup here at the clock bubble in the Philippines. From Coach Du Feng. Again, you can always see, even when his team are in the lead, has high expectations for his players. Now you can see, very serious with all of them. Well, China have only made one three-point field goal. They're one for seven from downtown, but Chinese Taipei, four for 15. And the rebounds are a big difference there. You can see China with 31 to 14, of course, over Chinese Taipei and 20 assists to eight. Something they're going to have to try and change here going into the second half. They're going to try and get back in this game. Well, here are the highlights from the first half. Every time China, well, key thing for Chinese Taipei will be halftime. They've got to try and stop China from getting the ball in the low block. And isolate, they gotta make sure they defend the low block and prevent the easy passes down low. I think he, you can see Shun Zichye. Now he had to leave the game because he landed awkwardly on the side of his hip, but hopefully he's okay. He'll return to the game. There's a back down play, very strong and physical, of course, from Zhang Zhenlin. Fast break basketball again. China really enjoying the tempo of this game and being in total control of it. Three in the corner. That's the kind of style that Chinese Taipei need to play. You can see the three pointer come from Su Shi Xuan. Getting to need that inspiration from him. It was the throwback play, and that is what they kind of need, just a bit of inspiration at the moment. That was the kick out there. Jonah Morrison nailed the three-pointer in the corner. Just need that inspiration right now. Just somebody and to prevent China from getting these easy looks in the low block.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back for the second half in just under 13 minutes. Go get a drink, go get some to eat, but don't go anywhere too long, as we'll be back pretty soon as Chinese Taipei face China here in the clock bubble of the FIBA Asia Cup qualifiers in the build-up to Indonesia. Don't go anywhere too long, because we'll be back soon. Great job by oh, I turned it over and now Dwight Ramos with a chance here to tie this game up. Ramos all the way. Dwight Ramos is taking this game over. And he's tied the game up. And off. Well, Kwame takes a three-pointer. Ange Kwame, and if that's the best shot, Gilas is gonna get. Rock good at time. Oh my lord! But well, right now it is showtime. South Korean basketball. Look at this. Rock good up. Got some Hamni to throw it down, big fella. Nice crossover now in the lane. Same story. Oh, baby! Throw down time. Well, it was a matter of time. Oh, he missed a free throw. Could not keep it alive. And now South Korea, they've got to get a three pointer. Pump face takes it. Oh, baby! Oh, my lord! We're going to OT! This is unbelievable! To get the ball inbound. To get it inbound. Belangel pump fakes, puts it up. Oh, baby! Oh, baby! He got it! Belangel! We're going to the Asian Cup! Gilas Pilipinas have done it! Unbelievable! I can't believe it! Oh, baby! He did, I think! He got it off! Salamat Belangel!
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, now to the second half of this FIBA Asia Cup 2021 qualifying matchup between Chinese Taipei and China. And Chinese Taipei now bringing a very young, spirited team that are going to be the future of this team's participation, of course, in the FIBA Asia Cup qualifiers and in other international basketball matches. Some key players here. Right now, they just need to find a little bit of inspiration and also use this as a learning experience, such as Jonah Morrison out there and Gadiaga. Right now, playing against the Chinese 2 3 zone, they have to move the ball a lot quicker, try and get the ball into the better shooting positions for their shooters. But there is a lot of prominence, a lot of potential in their play. China, of course, started yesterday their first ever FIBA Age Cup qualifying game. And a victory against Japan. It was huge for them because it just showed everyone just why they are a powerhouse. Now, Chung Zijie, the best post player, did have to leave the game with an injury, and hopefully he's okay. He did land very awkwardly on his back off a blocked shot, so our thoughts and prayers go to him and make sure that he isn't injured too poorly. Was walking afterwards, but did look like he was in a bit of pain. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't done so already, make sure you download the official FIBA Asia Cup 2021 app on your tablet, smartphone, Android, where you can customize your experience all the way up to the FIBA Asia Cup in Jakarta, Indonesia. Follow your favorite players and teams here in the FIBA Asia Cup and also get all the news and highlights that matters to you most. Remember, download the 2021 FIBA Asia Cup official app your tablet, smartphone, or Android. Also, follow the FIBA Asia Cup Instagram page. Daily highlights we've having here from the clock bubble as well as the recent bubble in Jordan. Remember, that is the official FIBA Asia Cup Instagram page. Follow everything here brought to you by International Basketball here. The build up to the FIBA Asia Cup in Jakarta, Indonesia. China lead this one by 35 points. We'll have the first possession of the second half. They take a quick throw. Oh, they try to pass it, but it actually faked me out on that one. I thought he was going to shoot it, but turns it over in the end. Here's a quick penetration now. And there's a good look there. We should have shot the ball, but a learning experience from as we've said as a pick and pop scenario down the lane you can see they're doing the right things of course using the pick and rolls and penetrating for kickouts but at times they're giving up wide open looks and chinese taipei the only way they can learn is if they take those opportunities and build the confidence on them got to get the ball inbound five second violation great defense by china Backdoor play under the basket, and the foul has been committed. So now he'll go to the free throw line here for two shots. Again, another beautiful. Makes the first free throw, and again, China really enjoying the ability to get the ball in the low block because they know the size is where they have the advantage over Chinese Taipei. But Chinese Taipei, what they can do to help themselves a lot is try and commit those double teams and just try to force China to shoot from the perimeter as much as possible. Now Gadiaga gives this ball up. Here's the high-low entry now. Kick this one out. Five seconds on the shot clock. Puts up a teardrop. Can't get it. They get an offensive rebound. He's got to go up with it. That's much better. And again, that's one way Chinese Taipei can 
start to build and grow in this game as Lude, you can see, came up with a second chance. Here's the back down, the low block goes up with a tough move off the backboard, gets his own rebound, and again, he's able to put that one back. Well, Wang Xiao Jie there, able just to use his size there to back down, but more importantly, he was able to come up with a loose ball. Well, now China have gone into a man-to-man -man defense, so this will be interesting to see how Chinese Taipei respond to this one. Off to Gadiaga now. Looks like he's going to penetrate. Goes out of bounds, and that will be Chinese Taipei ball. Now there's 2.8 seconds left on the shot clock. As China didn't have full control of the ball. Gadiaga now will go to the bench and take a breather. <laughs> Goes out of bounds, it's a turnover. And there's a cross court pass, now the three is up, the three is tucked away. That's a beautiful shot. And now it's a 39 point lead here to China. Chinese Taipei has a penetration. And there's a kick out. That's much better now. Takes in the lane. Not a bad move there, but now they got to get back on defense because China are going to push. Oh, it's beautiful fast break basketball. And they finish off with a layup. You got to love the way China gets the ball up the court as quick as possible. Those are the first two points now for Zhao here in the game. Turns it over now. Now the numbers are against him. Looks like he's going to go all the way. Bit of contact. Doesn't get it. Now secure the rebound. Now Chinese Taipei can push this one. They we'll take a three-point. The three is up. The three is no good. We'll follow up again for another offensive rebound. That's much better now from Chinese Taipei. He was wide open there. He gave it up. And again, it's situations like that that can't keep up. Now we're under five seconds here on the shot clock. We'll throw it down low. Kick out. He's got to shoot it. The shot is up, but it's blocked. Great defensive hustle. The Chinese Taipei thought they had made one pass extra. And there's a three-pointer. Tucks that one. Wait, look at the fast break basketball here again. A bit of showtime Chinese fast break basketball. That the screen now. Give and go. Well, how did that go in? Oh, my Lord. I think he lost control of that, but Wang Xiaojie has probably scored a basket. He'll never score again in his life, but my word. Well, Jonah Morrison thought about taking the three-pointer. Didn't take it now in the lane. Kicks this one out. Now again, five seconds on the shot clock. Puts it behind his back. Beautiful move. Turns it over. Now, China can push this one one more time. Makes a bump. Tries to follow it up. Can't get it. Chinese Taipei came up with a loose ball. This kick out goes baseline. Lays it up. And that's a beautiful move there. Well, no help side defense. But again, that's going to help them build the confidence. There's a curl off one screen now. Dishes it off under the basket. Reverse layup. But he gets it to drop. And that time, Wang Xiaojie knows how he scored that one. But the previous one was remarkable. Very interesting way to score the basketball, that's for sure. Well, look at this for a move here. This is beautiful. Penetration and a simple layup off the backboard. And again, that's how Chinese Taipei have to play. And there's a reverse layup by Wang Xiaojie.
the Chinese Taipei. Right now is a good chance for them to try new things, of course, but again, they just have to have the confidence. You see a lot of times getting the ball into good positions, but they're just not taking too many shots. They're passing up a lot of good opportunities, and it's something they have to learn and try to grow on. You can see Wang Xiaojie now with 12 points. He's 6 for 8 from the field. He's played very, very well in this game. Now Ku Ah Wei Chia now into the game for Chinese Taipei. And the foul has been called. A bit of a lock up there. Now it's called on Zhao Yan Hao. Coach Dufeng, I think he makes the right choice there as he does a complete rotation of the bench just to keep things under control, make sure this game doesn't get out of hand because his team does have the lead and again, I'm sure he wants to finish this game as best as possible. Now China go back into the 2-3 zone and this is a great chance here for Chinese Taipei to break it down and get some open looks. As it takes a fadeaway jump shot and he got it. That is a beautiful play there by Li Hanchung. Just plays like that, make a big difference in the lane. Well, my word, he's going to throw that one down, but didn't come up with it. Onto the basket. Well, this time, time and space, no foul called. Kicks this one up, three is up, three is no good. Chinese Taipei come up with a rebound, and now they can push. And there's the shot, the shot's up in the corner. The shot is good, and Chinese Taipei all of a sudden, and it's that man again, Li Hanshung, just building in confidence. Now has been called. That was the penetration turnaround, the fadeaway. Nothing but net, beautiful shot. Reverse left and a tough, tough move there. That's a great play there. And Chinese Taipei now getting the ball up the court, playing a bit quicker. Jonah Morrison on the ball. Will take another three point three is up. No good. That's a better look. And now China. Gonna try and push this one. And there's a look in the corner. Chinese Taipei. Looks like they've gone to a matchup here. The foul has been called, and the foul, I believe, is gonna be called on number five, Ku Mao Wei Chia. Oh, sorry, it's an offensive foul, actually. So the foul is on number eight. Zhang Zhenlin for China. So an offensive foul is called. So Zhang Zhenlin now goes to the bench. Thought about taking the three-pointer. Jonah Morrison now. Oh, throws that one away. Jonah Morrison. I mean, they're stepping off him because they know he doesn't want to shoot the ball, but he hit one three-pointer. In the first half, he should be looking to score at that point. And here comes the pick and roll now. Keeps it alive now, takes a tough one. Gets his pocket pick, great defense. And now Chinese Taipei can push this one. Slows this one down now, good ball reversal. Well, this time Jonah Morrison takes it. And that's a good look for him, but wasn't able to tuck it away. There's the big fella under the basket. It's a beautiful one-two there. And Liu Chuanxing there makes a layup. And the penetration started with Zhao Yanhao. Just made the dish off. And again, excellent vision. Right now, Chinese Taipei just needs someone to flash at the high post. Quick shot in the corner. Beautiful look. And he tucks it away. And that's much better. And it's a nice, nice shot there. From number five, Ku Mao Wei Chia. That will do his confidence a lot of good now. Xu Jie now takes us in the lane, puts up a little teardrop, and he tucks that one away. Now Chinese Taipei trying to get the ball inbound pretty quickly.
Come to the screen now in the 2-3 zone. Take the time and space, puts up a little teardrop. Can't get it. Chuan Ching now with a rebound. Shujie now takes him with his right. Takes this one out. There's a love pass under the basket. Well, Jordan Morrison did well to recover, but then gets called for the foul. So now, Yo Chuan Ching will go to the free throw line here for two shots. That's a good play here. Down the middle, simple little teardrop. Comes down with a bit of rain. Well, Liu Chuangxing now played last season for the Qingdao, Qingdao Eagles, excuse me, in the CBA. Won 53 games last season, the 2020-21 regular season. He averaged 9.7 points per game. He was 66% from within the rainbow. It's a 70% free throw shooter. Also averaged eight rebounds a game along with one block shot. So gets a second free throw to drop. And this is a good opportunity for him to Get some good looks in the low block now as his team lead by 43 points here. Morrison now kicks this one out. We get a wide open look in the corner. He takes a three himself. Well, that's a good look. That's much better now. Chinese Taipei starting to build some confidence in their perimeter shooting. Yeah, when you play against a zone, you just want to move the ball and get the ball in the hands of shooters in the area where they like it. It's a bit of contact. Goes up with it. Tough, tough move. And doesn't get the M1, but it's a strong play. And that was Hu Ming Xuan there. You can see now China stay in the 2-3 zone. Morrison cross court, takes a pass of threes in the corner. No good, but it was a good look there. Now China quickly get the ball at the court. The foul has been called. Against number five, Kuma Weichia. It's the right call from the official because you can see he was reaching in quite aggressively. It's up in the mid-range there, takes a shot. Also, yeah, goes out of bounds. There will be China ball on the baseline. Has a bit of time and space now. 10 on the shot clock here for China. This is one down the middle. Pump fix. A little bit of time and space and gets it to drop in. That's a good look for him for Hu Ming Xuan. That's much better ball movement now. Against his own for a Chinese Taipei. Now run to 10 on the shot clock. That's a split the defense. Arson now will take the three point and three is up, and that's much better. I mean, look, they're moving the ball, they're getting good looks, but that's how they should be playing to get the game of basketball. And now, China will get the last shot here of the third quarter. In the lane now, bit of content goes in with the right hand, and the big fella follows up, can't get it. One chance there to throw it up. Oh, my lord, it almost went in. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the end of the third quarter. It is China 91, Chinese Taipei 47. Coach Du Feng, again, very serious with his players. A lot to think about. Doesn't want his players to get very complacent. Well, they see statistically China have only made two three-point field goals. Well, Chinese Taipei has 7 for 24 from the perimeter, 11 for 24 from within the rainbow. 
And now China respectfully in total control of this game. Well, here are the highlights now here from the, the quarter. And I'm not sure, quite sure he figured out well, that went in. And he said, well, Pooch it I don't know how that went in. There's a little banger roll there. Tough play. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't done so already, make sure you download the official FIBA Asia Cup 2021 app and also follow the FIBA Asia Cup official Instagram page. Follow all the best live stats, highlights, and best content here from the clock bubble. And the job, they turn it over now, and China wastes no time getting the ball up in transition. Like they turn it back over. Oh, Chinese Taipei, they got numbers here. It's a three on one. That's a no look pass to take a 3.3. It's up and a little bit of showtime. Chinese Taipei, fast break, fast with the tray ball. That's much better, of course. That is Xie Yashuan. He's now been the top scorer in this game. Or Chinese Taipei. And he is had a very good shooting night from the perimeter, of course. But right now, just need other players to step in and step up. Marston thought about the backdoor pass. Pump fakes now in the lane. Not sure if a foul's being called. Yeah, you got to love the respect there between Jonah Morrison, not to mention Chen Wu. I mean, both battling for it. They just give each other a pat on the back there to say it's all competition. And a lot of respect, of course. Now, a bit of contact draws a foul against much, much better now from Chinese Taipei as Li Hansheng is able to draw the foul there. Well, the thing for China is they played so well in this game, but they got to make sure they finish this game off well. But the same goes for Chinese Taipei. They just got to keep on battling and stay very principled. And he's had a very good game, of course. I mean, Li Hansheng has made a couple of perimeter shots. Just try to work on things that going to help them improve for the future, of course. So he makes the first free throw. They miss the second one now. And China come up with a rebound. Holds the screen now, takes a quick, quick three-pointer off the back, but doesn't get it. Again, a little bit. Just battling for the rebound there by Lu Wenbo. And that's the kind of the kind of physical play you want to see in basketball, of course. Just a battle for the rebound, but both players seem to be okay. Well, Lu Chun Chang now. Well, Jonah Morrison, excuse me, is going to exit the game. And Su Shi Xuan also comes back in along with Ku Mao, and a beautiful play there, but unable to get it going. It's now 11 seconds on the shot clock here for Chinese Taipei. There's a handoff there. Takes a fadeaway, tough shot, almost got it. It was a good look, but now China 
You try to push this one. You gotta love the way they get the ball up the court without even bouncing the ball. He's in with a beautiful little finger roll there. Wow. You gotta love that move. Well, that was a tough play by Chen Wu. There's a handoff now. Good ball reversal. Probably should have taken the shot now. Finds it. And you gotta love the way here. Chinese Taipei. Gotta get a shot off at some point. They take a fadeaway. Oh, almost got it off the backboard, but again, credit to the way they moved the ball there. So now here comes the pick and roll sequence here from China. How's he use it now? Looking for a high low play. Goes to the basket. Wang Xiao Jie kicks this one out. Down the middle. Oh, beautiful pass. Almost fumbles it under the basket. Got to go up with it. Tough play. Can't get it. And the follow up. Oh, I've missed it again. And now Wu Chia Chen now can push this one. Goes down the middle. Keeps it alive. Good ball movement. Three is in the corner. Got it. And that's much better now for Chinese Taipei. As Xie Yashuan now makes the open three pointer. And credit the way this young team just keeps battling back. There's a three, now the three is on the other end. The three is tucked away by Wu Qian. Well, he has been magnificent so far in this game. Played 20 minutes, of course, six rebounds. Oh, sorry, 16 points, excuse me. He has been phenomenal. That's a penetration down the middle. Goes in with a little finger roll, kisses that one off the glass. Yeah, just building on their confidence here in the fourth quarter. Well, didn't take the three point. Goes with the unselfish play. Turns around, jump hook in the low block, doesn't get it. But the offense gets blocked by the rim this time. Goes up, and this time he cleans up with it. There's Jung Jun Lin now. Well, he is now two points and two rebounds away from a double double. I think that comes off of the Chinese player, so it will be Chinese Taipei. Ball on the baseline. Well, Chun Yu Jue now comes into the game. He's played 14 minutes so far. We gotta get the ball inbound. So now, last few seconds here, the shot clock. Gotta get a shot off. One second left. Gotta shoot it. End of the shot clock. Doesn't get it. China defensively do a good job there, but now this time they'll want to push this one. Down the middle, hangs in the air, a bit of contact, gets it to drop, and that's a strong move. Well, Wang Xiaojie, oh, excuse me, Zhao Jiwei there, does a good job of making that contact. Well, look at this, there's a contact, hangs in the air. That's a beautiful play, I mean, that is tough as it gets. Well, there's a flash now. It's a low block to kick this one out. Marson pulls up for a three point. It takes it. Good look, but couldn't drop it. So now. China with another chance here to build on their lead. Goes in with a little floater. Gets it to go, and that's a beautiful move there. Right now, Chinese Taipei. I'm gonna call timeout. Shoot Jie there. You gotta love the way he went baseline. Just put up a little floater. And there's the spin out. There's the floater. Oh, it's good. Beautiful play there by Shu Jie.
他能缩下去，底才出来，明白吗？哦，知道这个点吗？好了。下线，我上线，把这球给过来。行，好，加油，加油，加油，加油，加油，加油，加油，加油，加油，加油。Well, there you can see Wu is leading all scores right now at 16. While Zhang Junlin has nine rebounds. Xu Jie is doing very well as the best facilitator tonight on the court. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you follow the FIBA Asia Cup Instagram page. We get all the best content and highlights. Here in the clock, but also the recent bubble we saw in Jordan, and also in the build-up to the FIBA Asia Cup. And that is the FIBA Asia Cup Instagram page. It's Chinese Taipei try three point from downtown. They can't get it. And now under five minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Under the basket now gets foul, but he will go to the free throw line now for two shots. As we mentioned, he has a 70% free throw shoot, as we saw in the Chinese Basketball Association CBA League this year, which he was playing for the Qingdao Eagles. Just averaging under 10 points per game, as we mentioned, in the CBA. And you can't credit the fact enough how hard he works to keep up with the play and how he tries to get up and down the court for tonight's game. But didn't play too much against Japan yesterday, of course, because Joe Peng was on fire, but hopefully Shun Zijie, who had to leave the game through landing very awkwardly on the side of his hip, hopefully he's okay and not too, too badly hurt, of course, as our thoughts and prayers go to him. And now Chinese Taipei will try to keep building on the lead here. Remember, they, it's a great chance, and they're going up against a 2-3 zone, so the movement and the ball movement has to be key here. And there's a three-pointer. It's a good look, but they couldn't finish it, and now Shoot, yeah, there's the alley. Oh my lord, does he fit? Yes, he does! Well, that's a bit of showtime, Chinese basketball. And that is beautiful, just how they get the ball up and down the court. Chinese Taipei try to attack the zone. And there's a ball reversal, much better now. Jonah Morrison, top of the key. That's a good shot for him there at the high post, but again, unable to tuck it away. There's a low block play now. Goes in, strong movement. This time he gets it as Leo Chuanqing is able to post up very well there. And there's a three pointer. Got it! And that's what they've needed all night long just to shoot the ball against a 2 3 zone. And that's a big, big three pointer there for Chinese Taipei. Under the basket yet again. Well, they need a double team to come down because it's going to cause a lot of problems. As Jonah Morrison just needs someone to come and help him out every time the Ochuan Shin gets the ball in the low block. There's a the penetration out. Goes in with a hook shot, doesn't get it. Jonah Morrison falling up with an offensive rebound. And that's a bit of heart and desire they want. There's a kick out, there's a pump fake. Didn't get the shot at all. He got it. He did very well there to make that shot, but unfortunately the shot clock did go off. So China now will go to the bench. There was a seal off. Onto the basket. Just goes up with it. It's not play there by Liu Chuanqing. Yeah, now comes off one screen, bangs, puts it up, doesn't get the M1. But he will go to the free throw line now for two shots. Well, Xu Jie now eight points in this game. He's already two for two from the free throw line. Just a little bit short on the first free throw. As we already mentioned, had a phenomenal season with the Guangdong Southern Tigers in the CBA. Averaged about 20 
Just over 20 minutes of game, of course. Misses both free throws. Chinese Taipei secure the rebound. Looking for options now. This is where the move because now China's gone back to a man to man defense. There's a little float, it doesn't get it. It's offensive rebound. The follow up still can't get it. Now China will push this one. We're under two minutes to go here. Shuji had good pass now. Runs it back down, low block goes up with it. Tough move and gets a post move to go. That's a good move for him. There's Lu Wenbo now. Comes up to 13 points. There's the kick out past the three in the corner. Three is tucked away. Beautiful shot there by Li Hansheng. That's the second trade ball he's made of the evening. And again, now moves up to 11 points. He's four for seven from the field. Two for four from the perimeter for that matter as well. And there's the fadeaway shot in the block. In and out, doesn't get it. Well, comes up with a steal there. Great defense by Lou Wimbo. Now we'll take his time here. Backs down now, a bit of contact. Here comes the double team. They come up with a steal. That's much better from Chinese side. Loses it again, though. Five seconds on the shot clock. Goes up. Doesn't get the M1. But he'll go to the free throw line now for two shots. So Hu Ming Xuan now. Looks like he landed very awkwardly on his ankle, but hopefully he's okay. China do have to play Japan again. They went very aggressively to the basket. I think he just landed when he went down right there. Well, now we're in the final 52 seconds to play. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, more games to come here in the clock bubble, of course. Gilas Filipinas will play some more games, as will Korea. As will Indonesia. Japan also will be playing. Again, remember, if you haven't done so already, make sure you download the official FIBA Asia Cup 2021 app, along with following the social media pages of the FIBA Asia Cup, especially the Instagram page. The Instagram page of the FIBA Asia Cup Give you all the best highlights and content from the clock bubble, the recent Jordan bubble as well, and in the build-up to the FIBA Asia Cup in Jakarta, Indonesia. Remember the official 2021 FIBA Asia Cup app, and make sure you follow the FIBA Asia Cup Instagram page as we're in the final 50 seconds here of the fourth quarter. The contact now draws a foul. It's only the 13th foul now for China, so Chinese Taipei will have the ball on the baseline. So now 14 seconds on the shot clock here for Chinese Taipei. Forty-two point five seconds left here in the ball game as well. We get into Jonah Morrison now. Morrison tries to go baseline, draws a foul. That's much better because that's the kind of plays he should have been doing at the beginning of the game, attacking the basket. Get it to the free throw line. We well, missed the first one. We can see a lot of potential in Jonah Morrison. Stands at about six foot eight. Not a bad shooter from the perimeter, but. Again, it's 
games like this where it's all about the experience and what you learn from these games and who you go up against. I doubt he's got a good career ahead of him for sure. Now China, we have 10 seconds, they gotta get a shot off here. Xu Jie now, bounce pass, turns it over. Morrison gets away with a few steps there, but Chinese Taipei will probably try to score one last time. Three is up in the corner, three is up, the three is tucked away. Three. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for joining us here in the clock bubble for this matchup. But at the end of this one, it is China, 114, and Chinese Taipei, 66, of course. But a foul has been called, so there'll be, imagine no free throws on that one, but the game is over. I'm not sure if they're going to shoot free throws on this one, but I think they will actually now. I think the officials just want to check if he was in the process of shooting because it wasn't, they're not in the penalty, of course. It'd be very interesting to see if they send him to the free throw line on that one because. Well, he will shoot the two free throws, so the score will change now if he makes one of those two of these. I think the officials just are checking one last time there. So two free throws now will come. So the score might change here. So, well, we thank you for joining us. It's now the second game China's played here in the FIBA Asia Cup qualifiers. They were very impressive yesterday against Japan, in which they won. And a surmountable lead by 20 points. But Japan did make a bit of a comeback in the fourth quarter. But in the end, China did come out victorious. And tonight, again, we've just shown one more time. Just that they mean business, of course. I mean, they are a great basketball team. And Chinese Taipei, credit the way they've played in this game. It's a young team. They've come here. It's a great experience for them. And at the end of this one, China come out victorious, 115 to 66. We thank you for joining us here in the Clark City bubble. And at the end of this one, China come out victorious. Coach Dufay now. Brought his team to the bubble here. And he picked up two big victories, so it's a good chance for them to propel themselves in their final two games here in the FIBA Asia Cup qualifiers. His team were only three for 12 from the perimeter, but 46 for 73 from within the rainbow. 70% for the free throw line. Chinese Taipei did shoot 12 for 34 from downtown. The rebounds very much in favor of China as they won 52 to 30 in that category. Also 32 assists to 17. They did have four more steals than Chinese Taipei. China now 2-0 oh here in the bubble. But there you can see there's Shun Zijie, so it looks like he's okay. does look like he's favoring one side of his work, but good to see that he's doing well and that he's not too hurt, too badly hurt. Well, here are the highlights now from the second half. Again, you got to credit the way the Showtime Chinese fast break basketball. Again, it's just fun stuff to watch. I don't think he knows how that went in. And you can see him looking around to say, well, who's a doubt? I don't know, but in the end, he got the two points. Again, it's a beautiful penetration. Layup off the backboard. That's a pick and roll sequence. Again, he's gonna finish under the basket. There was the fadeaway, of course, and a nice little touch. Very well there to score that one. There's also another little teardrop there down the middle. Nice little play. Downtown three-pointer. Chinese Taipei historically are a team that do shoot well from the perimeter. I mean, they are a very good national team, but tonight 
Just needed something a little bit more than perimeter shooting. A nice little fang roll down the middle. Pass and a wide open look from the perimeter. Tough play that you can see under the basket. I mean, he had a good night tonight. It was a good chance for him to get a little run and get some movement going. But, ladies and gentlemen, we do thank you for joining us here in the clock bubble this evening. Remember, there's more games to come Friday and Saturday. As you'll see these two teams play again very once more, of course, along with Japan. And in the other group, Philippines, Gilas Pilipinas, along with Indonesia and Korea, will also play again. There's Joe Pang, of course, and Du Feng. Breaks into a smile. You can see he's finally happy. As it stands right now, China will top the group with two wins and zero losses, followed up by Japan and then Chinese Taipei. Well, we thank you for joining us here in the Clock Bubble. For tonight, it's now Wan An. And good night.